Panthers TV with uh, head coach Danny Stewart after 3-2 victory over the Cardiff Devils. And Danny, what are your feelings after that game? Uh, happy, obviously, with the result. I think uh, I think for two periods we played some really good hockey. Unfortunately, give that one towards the back end of the second period. Just a bit of a sloppy pay, play by us. Um, and then we got running around chasing the puck and ended up in the back of the net. I think they gave them a little bit of life, um, some belief in the third. And uh, Third period, I think, you know, I think we absorbed some pressure, and they're a good team. They're going to put you under some pressure. They had a good pushback there in the third, but I, I, I thought at times we played a little bit too safe um, and just sat back and kind of allowed them to kind of dictate the pace. So um, we found a way in the end. You know, some some key plays there in the last couple minutes. Beds made a couple good stops, and you know, big two points for us. Yeah, you say big two points in the context of the Challenge Cup group system. That's 13 points now. Almost there, not quite, but you, you must be very pleased with, with getting such a big victory tonight. Yeah, for sure. And, and look, we, we can't control what other teams do in the rest of their games. We can only control what we can. And, um, you know, we have two games left in the Cup. We're in a phenomenal position. And, you know, we just got to focus on our, on our next one when it comes. But uh, in the meantime, let's get the guys some rest here for a couple of days and then we'll get back to work. Special teams as well. Two power play goals tonight all the penalties killed, you, that again must make you very happy. Yeah, our special teams have been really good up up, up until this point. Um, you know, I think PP's ticking and, you know, well above 30 and, and the PK well above 90. So, you know, that's that's elite where we want to be. Um, you know, that's and it's been a, bit, a big contributor to our success early season here. And, um, you know, just got, like I said, I think got to stay on top of that, make sure that we're continuing to, to to be effective in those areas and, and win hockey games. But at the same time, um, third periods, I think we, we can be a little bit better, a little bit more confident, but that comes with time. You know, we're a new, relatively new group. And, um, you know, I think it's just having that trust in each other that we're going to make the right plays at the right times in the right moments. And, uh, you know, I, but I said, you know, there was still a lot of good things from tonight and, you know, mainly positives. Now a week until the next game and then a back to back at home. You know, how good is that for the group, not only to get a week to recover, but also that both the next games are at home as well? Yeah, no, I, I, I think from a rest standpoint, yeah, I mean, it allows us to, to stay on top. You know, I, I'm sure every team has their little niggles. I know, I know Cardiff had some, but they got three key guys back in the lineup tonight. And, um, you know, that's a good team over there. So I think, you know, us, us personally, I think we... It just allows us to get on top of a few things. There's some guys that have some small niggles, as I'm sure every team does. But um, you know, a couple of days off here, guys can get some rest, and and we'll get back to work on Tuesday. It's a, it's a, it's a tricky kind of stretch for us, right? With two weeks and having the one game, and then all of a sudden you get two home games. It's very easy to kind of come back and not be quite battle ready. So that's down to us coaches to make sure we're prepared throughout practice next week.